Hi everyone, welcome to the inaugural episode of Real Reviews, where we take a look at major Hollywood releases and let you know if they're worth your time, money, and patience. I'm your host, Walter Bernasiak, and today we delve into Disney's latest animated feature, Frozen. Frozen is Disney's 53rd animated feature film. It was released in late November, but due to extremely high praise and demand, it was just re-released in theaters as a sing-along. The story follows the Kingdom of Arendelle after it is cast into an internal winter by the powerful Snow Queen Elsa, voiced by Idina Menzel. Her sprightly sister Anna, Kristen Bell, teams up with a rogue-hewn mountaineer named Kristoff, Jonathan Groff, and his trusty reindeer Sven to break the icy spell. Frozen has been getting a lot of positive press since its debut in theaters, and many are calling it Disney's greatest cinematic achievement since 1994's classic, The Lion King. While I don't think it's quite as good as most of those Disney Renaissance films, it is more than a solid outing for Disney's animation studio in a non-Pixar film. The quality is definitely there, and they seem to be on a roll with this and 2012's Wreck-It Ralph. Frozen is an honest-to-goodness, absolutely stunning visual piece. Seeing it in theaters was an experience. One of the most impressive animated movies I've seen in terms of the environments created and how they are able to show them off. The movie is filled with great songs and performances by the voice cast who all have an undeniable charm, especially Olaf, the hilarious snowman. Olaf isn't the only funny part of the movie. Its tone successfully shifts from characters' serious moments to funny scenes and back again effortlessly. The story is also more unique in the sense that Queen Elsa is not an intentional villain. She and her sister Anna are very well-rounded characters and we are deeply invested in the relationship or lack thereof. That being said, there are a few really surprising twists and turns throughout the movie that keep you guessing at where the story is going. These moments make Frozen stand out amongst its peers. Its shortcomings are few, but they are there. Considering how rich and vast Frozen's environment and world is, it still seemed a bit held back. I wanted more, which still is much better than too much. In any case, we could have had a much more epic story on our hands. We'll have to wait and see where the probable sequel takes these great characters. Also, the ending is a bit too rushed considering all that came before it. It cuts off too quickly and a more satisfying resolution was in order. Those are really nitpicks though. Frozen is a true triumph for Disney and gives younger girls really strong characters to admire here. They aren't stereotypical Disney princesses and are among the animation giant's strongest leads in recent memory. Kids and adults will have no choice but to enjoy this film. I imagine this being an instant classic and favorite to younger viewers that they will cherish years down the road, like I do with the likes of Aladdin and Peter Pan. I'm giving Frozen an 8 out of 10. Be on the lookout for more real reviews coming soon. And remember, if it's not reviewed here, just isn't real. I'm Walter Bernasia, and I'll catch you next time.